Russell Crowe. He is a very interesting man. He made the video, uh, not the video. Uh, he directed La- Les Miss. Uh, yeah, uh, no, no, he's an actor in Les no, he Miss. He was in it. He was I'm in sorry, it. Act, yeah, all right, you're you're correct. I, I read I read it wrong. I thought he, I thought he would, I, I, I saw Les Miss. I thought Les Miserable, and I added more to it. So never mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's just how my brain works. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I. <laughs> He was apparently he was uh, he was an actor in the the in the TV or movie show or the movie uh, Les Miss. Uh, he tweeted from Les Mis. Le, Le, what is it pronounced? Les Mis. Les Mis. Okay. All right. Les Mis. Lay flat. Never mind. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> now he's going to play with it for a while. Yes, I'm going to I'm going to be playing Lay something everywhere wherever we go. Uh, anyway, <laughs> he apparently was down in Australia recently, and he took some time lapse photography. And he's claiming he saw a UFO. Now I, I've seen things. I, I in, when I was growing up, I saw a few things I couldn't explain. I mean, you, there there are things out there that you just can't explain sometimes. And the, you, I, I don't discount that he thinks he saw something. But what I do discount is the fact that he's got a, a time lapse. And he put up a little video. It's about twenty two. It's twenty two seconds long, and it shows this the intervals of when this spaceship or whatever it was uh came across and some people are spe- speculating this is a yacht out in somewhere i guess Daft. yeah and i looked at the video very carefully i looked at the video and it looks like something that was overlaid over the picture i mean it doesn't look real i'm sorry there is inconsistencies all over the place on this thing joe your thoughts poor russell crowe yeah <laughs> i am a fan he's been in some of my favorite movies but as you mentioned, he had a camera set up taking uh, time-lapse photos out of his office window at night looking across a river. Mm-hmm. And when I saw the photos, uh, I first thought he caught a low-flying airplane because the lights made streaks in the pictures, kind of like car taillights in time-lapse photos. And I saw the thing on the end there looked like a, a wing uh, looked like a, a wing like you'd see on an airplane, too. So right, I had... exactly. I, th- I was just like, oh, it's an airplane, you know. Like, yeah. Fucking grow up. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought, too, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But uh, I, I watched another YouTube video where they broke it down frame by frame, and uh, there's also lights down on the water, mm-hmm. on the river. Mm-hmm. And there's straight and angled lines connecting the light in the sky with the light in the water. Mm-hmm. And the YouTuber concluded that Mr. Crow photographed a sailboat passing by his office. And <laughs> so the lines must be rigging and the lights <sighs> by the water were the cabin lights while the red light at the top was, uh, was at the top of the mast. And uh, and people on Twitter were even saying to him it looked like a boat, mm-hmm. but he responded that it moved too fast to be a boat, and he called one skeptic an egg beater. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. He's like, what? <laughs> because they asked him to post the original picture. He goes, that is the original photos, you egg beater. What? The-? You know, I've heard I've heard a lot of people diss me over the years, <laughs> and I've never been called an egg beater. I mean, like Aww. that would be. I, I'm we- Joe. You're gonna have to call me an egg beater tonight. I think. Uh- <laughs> Packard, you're an egg beater. Thank you. No, no, I'm my now my life is complete. It's uh, kind of a funny insult. I'm gonna start using it. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> I'm gonna say you effing egg beater. Well, yeah. <laughs> Someone in Australia is gonna listen to this and they're gonna write in. They're gonna be like, guys, you know, egg beater is like a really horrible insult to call somebody. It oh, means is it X Y Z? Probably. <laughs> we're, we're gonna be like, it means what? <laughs> It might be slang for something. I don't know. I just I'm weird. <laughs> oh, the, and I'm looking at this thing. And I think this is. I think it's a lens flare re- uh, reflection from the bottom, and it just happens to be re- uh, reflecting up. I mean, they're, they're, this is not a UFO. It's 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 definitely man-made. Yes, it, it looks like other man-made things caught in a time-lapse photo. Yeah. Oh, talking primarily in the chat room says it's Australian. So I, I, I right. so he also true. called you an egg beater. Yes, I know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, talking primate. <laughs> I like I go and beat my eggs now. Uh, let me see your thoughts. <laughs> the man is daft. Yes, look I think happened. so in this case. Look what happened to Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, he was daft. Look what happened to uh, what's his name? Not Columbo. Robert Blake. Oh, he was daft. Yes, yes. You know, they, th- some of these older stars get to a point where the cheese has slid off their cracker, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> the elevator didn't go quite to the top floor. They're missing a yeah. few bolts from the, ch- the screws. 
one brick short of a full load. You get the meaning. Yeah. They confuse sailboats yeah, with intergalactic spacecraft. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it when that happens. <laughs> they believe bad publicity is just as good as good publicity. Yeah. It I can tell not. right now it's not. <laughs> <laughs> you get pissed off at Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Get pissed off, pissed off because somebody said something on Twitter, you know. Yeah. Look at Justin Bieber. Yeah. Well, well I try not to. I, 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 if I, I look at him and I get these weird confusion things going on. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's like, is it a woman? Is it a man? I really don't know. <laughs> He looks kind of like Miley Cyrus's twin. <laughs> he looks like something. I don't know what, but he looks like something. Uh, did you have any last thoughts on that, Medusa? No, those are my thoughts. Okay. He uh, is daft. Yes. <laughs> Nate, what, are you, what, what are your thoughts? I, I think Russell Crowe should be thanking his fans for having to put up with him singing in Les Mis. But anyway, <laughs> uh, I, I think... <laughs> What really, what really bothers me is after 30 or 40 years of, of all of these blurry pictures, you would think that by now we would have the photography that you could actually take a clear picture of these things. Mm-hmm. You know, you'd have you know the, the blurry pictures of Bigfoot and the Loch Ness Monster, and here we are in 2013. We have cameras and all of our cell phones, and yet we, we're still getting blurry pictures. That just yeah. drives me crazy. Well, I, when I drive, I take pictures, and those things come out blurry too. So, mm-hmm. But he, he had something set up sitting still. He could have taken better pictures. Pictures, you know. Exactly, exactly. But I, I think if, if it really was a UFO, I'd, I really don't understand why at this point they just don't come down and just glass the entire planet because they obviously have <laughs> some incredible technology and they, they don't need to sneak around or you or probe hillbillies or anything like that. They yeah. should just come down and just wipe the whole planet clean and well, it, start all over. Yeah, it, you know, if they if they do exist, if the aliens out there do exist and they, they visit us, I think they, they're doing what we do to primates in and in, in, uh, zoos, they're examining us, you know, because it, it, look at our politics. Exactly. Nobody but a bunch of fucking monkeys would think up this shit. 